Hi, this is Tina, Tina Stitches. Welcome to my channel. I talk about cross stitch. I've had my channel for about three years and some of you have been with me from the beginning. You've seen my various projects and a few finishes have happened in that time. But today I am going to be talking about my 2019 whips and my 2020 plants. So I am just going to, I'm going to go in order chronological of projects. They were not all started in 2019. The oldest one that I have was, I have two of them that were started in 2016. So those are the first two that you're going to see. I have one that was started before that, which I really, I just need to do a little thing, get it finished, and then it will be done, 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 F-O. But I will discuss that at the end of this, this 2019 whip parade. So, let's get started. First project, my oldest project, is leaning over there. I took almost everything off of the Q-snaps and frames so that you can get the full effect. But this one and two others I did not. And I'll explain as I get to them. So this is Beloved. Technically this is my longest, my oldest whip. And if you can't hear me behind here, it's because I got a new camera and it doesn't like my microphone and it seems like I may not need the microphone with this camera. So fingers are crossed. Let's hope this works. So, this is Beloved, and if you watched my update video from yesterday, you will see nothing has changed. I did not stitch on this at all today, yet. Was expecting company to show up again today, been waiting and waiting and waiting. We are having a lot of snowfall right now, and so they cancelled. So that's why I'm doing a video. Well, I have a chance. Now let's hope that stays there. It's very precarious, as you can see. The dog is sleeping on the floor right next to that spot, so... We'll see. So, Beloved was started August of 2016. And I am almost at the halfway mark. Next in my whips is also one that I shared yesterday. Crystal Christmas by Mirabilia. I have taken it out of the Q-snaps. Now I wrote in my book that it's stitched on 28 count white cashel, but I'm pretty sure it's 32. This was also started in 2016. It was probably started before Beloved. So I am all the way to the one side. I need one more angel. Finish that angel. Add another angel. And I noticed when I was taking it off the Q-snap that I do not yet have 
the tree finished. So, there's that. Now I need to find a place to pile all these. Crystal Christmas. These next ones were all started in Mania 2018. Nope, 2017. And these are the ones that are left. And I want to keep everything in the right, not order, but I want to keep my working copy with my project. So, first one in the Christmas Eve Courier Collection by Nora Corbett is Dasher. Rudolph is finished. Then there's Dasher. And that's where Dasher's at. I did work on it quite a bit this year. I know down here I have to fudge where the Krynik is because I miscounted somewhere but I'm okay with budging that. I'm sure I can manage that. And then we have Dancer. Another one that I do remember working on quite a bit and uh, really wouldn't take a whole lot more to get that finished. A lot of these um, Christmas Eve couriers are very close to being done. Uh, some of them I've managed to mess up somewhere and put it aside because I was frustrated. And this is a case in point. Vixen. I believe this was the last one that I was working on and I did get very good progress. And then I got to the antlers and I miscounted somewhere and got frustrated and put it away. And yes, I could probably frog, uh, fudge it. I might. It depends on how I feel when I pick it up again. I mean, it's not horribly noticeable. It's just one stitch off somewhere. So the whole, the whole end is off. But, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. The next one is Comet. Don't recall working on this one much. I think I might have picked it up during Mania for the anniversary, but then put it away after that. Cupid. These are all stitched on 32 count Nocturne Belfast Linen by Picture This Plus. And 
This is the one that I'm not sure that I'm going to stitch the way it's charted. There's a bird under here. But I'm not crazy about the bird. So that's why it's kind of stopped at this point. But it's almost finished. Next in the pile of couriers is Donner. Another one that did not see a whole lot of love. Probably just the anniversary day. And the last one. Let's see. Blitzen was also neglected. And there it is. Uh, Prancer is finished and Rudolph is finished. Those, um, I might be able to find some pictures. Well, actually right behind me, over there, is Rudolph. I would show them to you, but it's hiding a can of garbage, so. There it is. It's not actually framed, it's just mocked. It's in the frame, but it's not mounted or stretched or anything. So, the last um, design that I am stitching for this series is the sleigh. And it is actually part of the Christmas Eve Couriers collection. And that's all. That's all that got done. I couldn't even tell you if that's top or bottom. I'm going to say that's the right way. I really should work on those more. Um, got a little bit burnt out with those. Those were all started in Mania 2018. And two of them were finished. Let's just say one a year. So the next whip In my pile is a big one. I hope I have enough space here. I will have to insert a picture of what it's supposed to look like here. And here it is. This is Royal Tudor Mandala by Chatelaine. This is the bottom. 
it actually goes this way. Being a mandala, you can't really tell. I'll just try to get you some close-up views here. I've been working on the blue corner. Going to work my way up to that side and then it will be halfway finished. That's where we're at. I do not have any of the beads on it, but I have done all the specialty stitching in most of the areas. In some areas I've had to frog stitches because I used the wrong thread. But those are now corrected. The one change that I have made is in the corners for the black work. It called for DMC 310. I am using PB05 treasure braid and it uh, gives it a little bit of sparkle a little bit extra sparkle but you can't really tell and that's where that one's at Definitely plan to stitch on it some more in 2020. Do not anticipate it being finished, but if I could get a corner quadrant a year done, that would be very nice. Um, maybe I should aim for more because I got two more chatelaines kitted up, ready to go. Yeah, and I didn't put one of those in my 2020 plans. Maybe that's a good thing. Or maybe I will be thinking on that. The next one in my pile, so Royal Tudor Mandala Designed by Chatelaine, stitched on 32 count opal white Lagana by Zweigart. Started February 17th, 2018. Now to find my info for the next one. Dressmaker's Daughter, also seen recently. Pulled off the Q-snap so you can see the entire thing, what I have done. And this is stitched on 32 count Sweet Lavender Belfast by Exude Designs. And there's the whole thing. This side's not showing up very well, but... So recently finished working on spring, moved on to summer. And this was started September 1st, 2018. 
This next one I had um, not worked on for a while. Well, quite a while. I worked on it for about a month straight and then I put it away. I even did the beads. All that's left is just one specialty stitch and a charm and then it's finished. And this is the Love Sampler by Sweetheart Tree. I stitched this on 28 count acru off white antique white something like that even weave that I had in my stash and yeah just missing the heart design there and then there's a charm that belongs up there which I don't have and I think that's what made me stop The next project that I started was Mania 2018, May 1st. I started I guess it was 2018. Halloween Fairy by Nora Corbett from the original magazine. You know, I'm I'm doubting my dates here. It was 2019. I'm sure I did not have that started in 2018. No, it's 2019. May 1st, 2019. And here's where I'm at. So I still need to stitch the moon and the swirls in the sky and the cobwebs in the tendrils of the vines. This one I did most of the stitching and then I did do the beading. So a lot of the beading is already done. You can't tell but I did silver here. For the cobwebs, but I think I will go to the original blue color that's called for. Maybe I'll have it ready in time for Halloween this year. Halloween Fairy. Stitched on 32 count country mocha vintage Country Mocha Belfast Linen. Better flip the page because that one is finished. With My Needle by Just Nan. Another Mania. Twenty nineteen. 
start. This is what it should look like. Kind of hard to see, but I got this from uh, Bendy Stitchy Michelle um, D Stash. Got the entire kit with the silk conversion and this is where I'm at. I believe there's the letters D-L-E there. The next whip in my pile is Peacock Sampler by the Victoria Sampler. And I stitched on this, started it in Mania. Stitched on it um, fairly recently for the 24 hours of cross stitch acrostic. Um, I can't even remember. It was a letter, I think it was I, that I had to stitch and that's where I am now. And this is being stitched in the Called for Silks on 28 or 32 count linen that I've had in my stash, off-white. Not sure of the count. And let's see what else we have here. Miss Kitty's Pin Cube by Just Nan. Lots of glare. Started in Mania 2019, stitched on 28 count or 32 count cashel linen and that's where it's at. This has become my take it to work in the Stitch On at Lunch project and I don't think I've stitched on it more than once. And the last project in my whips is one that you've probably only seen the once. And it really is a shame because I really want to see this stitched. Tea Party, Mad Hatter's Tea Party by Bothy Threads. Stitched with kit fabric and kit threads, which is, you know, just black. And that's all I got done. The one reason, and you know, somebody said, you say reason, but all I hear are excuses. I feel like that's what I'm giving you. Not reasons, excuses. Um, my excuse is I didn't make a working copy. 
and with a pattern like this I feel like a working copy would be necessary because you could get lost quite easily. That's my excuse. And that's not all the whips. There's more. That was the last of the started in Mania 2019 or before. This next one was started in July of this year. It's not on that side. It's over here. And I didn't pull out the pattern. Mirabilia. Stitching this on 32 count Candy Duo Belfast Linen by Extra Designs. Still on the frame because everything that you would need to see is right here. So I felt like I didn't have to take it off the frame. I don't even know where my phone is. Okay. And that's where it's at. I don't know why I'm not stitching on this. I love all my projects. Some of them I get tired of. Like the couriers, I'm a little burnt out on those, so they'll be put in time out for a little while, but this one, I really should work on a lot more. And I'm thinking that might have been my husband texting me. So the last one, and this one I also don't have the cover page. This is another, um, not another, this design is a um, Stony Creek commemorative sampler, sampler for um, 2006 stitching festival which I was not able to attend but members of my online stitching community went to and they kitted up with the specialty threads and bought me the pattern and this is the yeah 2006 commemorative sampler by Stony Creek that's where it is. I'll unroll it so you can see more. But I don't want to take it off of the frame because it's so close to being finished. I should really just bite the bullet, finish it. I believe I said earlier that it's snowing. My husband is doing the driveway, so the dogs are freaking out. So 
So I just need to put some lettering in here. And then there's just two terms that belong there and there. Which I don't have. I'm going to substitute. And because it's a pair, I can really just look at earrings and find some heart earrings or something like that that will be beneficial to this project. So those are, let me check my notes, those are all the whips that I have so far. I have plans to stitch things in 2020 to start things. Um, But I really should finish a few things before I start anything. Especially the small things like the cat cube and the love sampler. I mean, that one I don't even have on my whip list because it's just a charm and a the uh, satin stitch heart or something like that. It's um. So close to being finished, it's not even on my whip list. Crystal Christmas, perhaps for next year. Maybe a reindeer or two. Um, but I, I will touch everything next year, even if it's just for mania, touching those ones that I started on their anniversary. And some things will get more love than others because that's that's how it goes. Um, plans are the crinkle crinkle. Sorry, the gecko rouge Mad Hatter will get started on. I believe I will start that on the first. And I plan to start Filigram Designs the Sewing Scissors and Embroidery Scissors on Dried Petal 28 count by Fabric Flare sometime in 2020. My Big Toe Beatitudes. I've had this chart for quite a while. And I was going to stitch it on something like this. I can't remember if this piece is big enough or not, but it was going to be a huge design when finished. And Crafty Kim gave me the idea, stitch it on 22 count heart anger. So I bought myself a piece, a giant piece, and I'm sure I can do that. Plus some other designs on it. I also plan to stitch or start Alphabet Song by Courtney Collection and that I might look at this as a um, potential fabric to use. I don't even know what it is. It's, I think it's like 32 count raw linen. Throw that in here. As far as the fabric, 
or floss to go with it. I don't know. And of course, letters from mom. And I have the 36 count legacy editor linen from Picture This Plus and the call for threads. All cut up, ready to go. That might also be a new year start. We'll see. Another small thing that I kitted up. Sorry for the zipper. Is Petite French Petite French Stockings by JBW Designs. And I have a piece of olive green 32 count linen. And the DMC threads to go with that. And that's a potential take that to work and work on those. I think I can get all three of those stockings on the one piece of fabric that I have in there. So I might, it actually might fit four of them. So I might do, I might do two, I might do four, I might do one. Who knows? We'll see. Um, that, I believe, covers all of my plans so far. I know I said I had something I might throw in for a plan, but it'll be what it is. It is what it is. I stitch what I want, when I want. I try to do um, acrostics and things, but let me show you. This I did for November. I did pretty good, which is why some of those sitting scenes things seen some love. And then came December. I wrote it down. I did one. I did the number one, which I had for Royal Tudor, Mandela, because it was the most expensive. Got stuck on number two. I did do some on Dressmaker, nothing on Alice, nothing on Slay, nothing on Philogram Sewing Scissors, so... Anagrams didn't work for me, apparently. So, I am going to try. Go. I started making a board. I need to go back and watch Jessie Marie's video because I need to know a little bit more how to do this because as you saw I have some patterns I want to start and maybe Whipco will make me start those. Another thing that's not in my whip list actually now that I just noticed it behind me. Can't see it from there, so let's bring it forward. This is technically not cross stitch, but embroidery. And this is my England's Rose needlepoint project, which I have been sharing in my regular updates whenever there's something done on it, so nothing done in the last couple months. But there it is. I, you know, would like to work on it some more, but that's how it all goes. 
So now I'm going to end this video. I'm going to hope that everything worked out fine, volume wise and everything. And I believe I'm going to be giving cooking lessons to my son and my nephew because they're in their 20s and need to start cooking. So anyways, um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Tell me if you like what you saw, what you want to see more of. And um, see you in the new year. Bye.